40. Like, why would I want to buy Bacara Rich 540? The, but the straight more expensive version just for almond so you like some you you hate some or you don't like some you you win some you lose some you know that's life now when i put my nose on this fragrance in all honesty i won't tell you what i felt it smelled like because it would be very offensive Oat satin mood didn't necessarily do it for me Oat silk mood didn't do it either for me my people my people welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time seeing my face then salutations my name is priscilla aka prissy aka cc aka ila aka Silla, aka miss prissy baby and i make videos to help you smell good look good and feel good so if that's something you're interested in then please consider subscribing like this video and let's get right into the video of today Video, I will be ranking my top five fragrances from the house of Mason Francis Cojan. Now, Mason Francis Cojan is a very popular perfumer. Even before he started his own perfume house, he had always, you know, designed fragrances. I mean, fragrances for Nina Ricci, fragrances for Kenzo World. Francis Cojan has worked on beautiful fragrances even before he started his fragrance line now when he started his own fragrance line it literally blew up especially with the very popular baccarat rouge 540 but today i thought you know what i will shed some light on some other really beautiful fragrances from this house and just rank my top five fragrances from this house now i do not own all these fragrances but i have sampled them i have gone out i have smelled this fragrance and i have come up with my list of my top five fragrances from the house of mason francis Kujan. so if that's something you're interested in without further ado let's get right into the video for my number five spot this might be come as a bit of a shocker especially because this fragrance is very popular it's a lot of people's favorite but when i eventually was able to get my nose on this fragrance i thought Oh, I don't know if it was because there was a lot of hype around it and so therefore there was an anti-climax for me when I eventually was able to sample this fragrance or maybe there are just other fragrances in my collection that already give me this vibe and so therefore this fragrance wasn't necessarily meeting up to the standards I don't know but in number five spot I think I have talked enough is Oud Satin Mood now Oud Satin Mood is a rose ooze what am I saying it's a rose oud based fragrance it is you know floral but at the same time it's supposed to give you this oud middle eastern vibe now when i put my nose on this fragrance in all honesty i won't tell you what i felt it smelled like because it would be very offensive well well but i did not get the oud i did not get the rose i don't know it didn't just it didn't just do it for me it's not the worst fragrance in the world but it's not just my favorite i mean there are other fragrances in this house and that's why it's my number it's my number five spot you know um it's a it's a nice fragrance it's just and um, there are other fragrances in my collection for example oud bouquet that gives me that rose oud base feel i've got alham from the house of roja that gives me that rose oud base feel so oud satin mood didn't necessarily do it for me oud silk mood didn't do it either for me but i will still read the notes in this fragrance to you it's got ro it's got notes of bulgarian rose turkish rose turkish rose is a really beautiful rose it's got vanilla it's got agarwood it's got benzoin and it's got violet yeah number number five spot <laughs> that's all i would say moving on i don't ever really see myself you know purchasing this fragrance it is a nice fragrance and yeah it deserves its number five spot on this list now moving on the next fragrance in fourth place for me is grand soir and grand soir is an amber based fragrance i do love amber vanilla fragrances that's my juice i do like my floral fruities i do like my amber vanillas but this fragrance to my nose it leans more masculine i don't own this fragrance but again i have sampled it and when i sampled it it did lean very like masculine to my nose and also there are also some other fantastic amber vanilla fragrances that i would reach for before i reach for this fragrance so there's no there's no point purchasing it and just keeping it with me and not using it you know especially seeing as seeing as fragrances from this house are not the cheapest um but grand Soir is a really nice fragrance it's such a fragrance that i would not mind smelling on my man but not for me not my thing again the notes in this fragrance are amber it's got siam benzoin vanilla tonka bean and spanish lamb 
the notes in this fragrance are so they're loads of like sweet things however i don't know why it leans masculine i don't know if there's something else that you know Fr francis cojan has not let us know but if you look at the notes in this fragrance amber is supposed to be sweet benzoin is supposed to be a sweet note vanilla is supposed to be sweet as well tonka bean lavender all the notes are supposed to be very sweet but i don't know why it leans very masculine to me in my opinion but again a very lovely fragrance and definitely deserves a spot as number four on my list now moving on to number three on this list is baccarat rouge 540 the extract version now there's the extract and then there's the perfume version but number three for me is definitely the extract and that's because i do love the you know perfume but the extract i think the extra note it has in it that the perfume hasn't got i think is the almond notes however when i sampled it i wouldn't say that the almond notes were necessarily strong if i want to have baccarat rouge i might as well just go ahead and have baccarat rouge 540. if i want an almond fragrance there are other almond fragrances in my collection that i will reach for before i you know reach for you know baccarat rouge 540 the extract version if i want an almond fragrance i mean i'll go for fragrances like italica italica gives me almond on a very very high level you know there's aqua um terra de joie by the house of jojo armani there are other fragrances that i would reach for for that almond feel there's elisab which is more designer before i reach for baccarat rouge 540 like why would i want to buy baccarat rouge 540 the, but the extra more expensive version just for almond just my just the way i think just my school of thought there are other people who might want that and you know again we're all different we have we there are different things we all like but for me i'm not really ready to spend extra coins just for that extra almond notes when i can get that from other fragrances in my collection but yeah it's a very beautiful fragrance i have heard a few people say it's a bit more long lasting than back at rich 540 projects a bit more so yeah definitely deserves its number three spot on this list and moving on my second place goes to gentle fluidity gold gentle fluidity gold is a really beautiful fragrance it is a very nice smelling fragrance however not the most long lasting again but it is a beautiful scent it's got a very beautiful scent again it's an amber vanilla i think mason francis kojan does amber vanilla fragrances really well i mean he's got some really beautiful rose fragrances as well as well i mean there's a la rose which is rose based Ooh, satin mood like i said had rose in it as well gentle fluidity gold is a beautiful fragrance i've actually got that one in my collection so i'm just going to show you right here i have it in the 35 ml it comes in the 35 ml in the 70 ml and i think it also comes in the 200 ml it's a really beautiful fragrance nice smell very soft you know yeah very soft not the most projecting fragrance i personally would wear this all year round but again i think this fragrance sometimes needs the heat to make it to project a bit more but it's a really nice nice fragrance i can see myself layering with other fragrances really really nice you know spicy kind of not really not the most spicy but a bit spicy a bit sweet really nice vanilla fragrance now the notes in this fragrance are vanilla amber musk woodsy notes it's got juniper berries nutmeg and coriander so it's got that vanilla amber then mixing up with the nutmeg nutmeg which is spicy i don't know if coriander is a spicy note and then it's got some juniper berries for a bit of fruitiness it's a really beautiful fragrance and definitely deserves its number two spot on this list moving on to our number one fragrance oh, yeah, it's me. my favorite fragrance from the house of mason francis koja is everybody's sweetheart the most popular there's a reason why it's like the most popular fragrance or was the most popular fragrance of 2020 and it is no other than drum rolls please Du -du 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 baccarat rouge 540 like <laughs> to me my perfume collection would not have been complete without this fragrance a bit because of the hype because it's popular because it's nice because it's a classic i will always want to have this in my collection whether i'm wearing it or not um, it's a really beautiful fragrance sits very close to the skin loads of people ha get announced mixed to this fragrance you wear it can you smell it can you not smell it you know it's it plays hide and seek 
I have a whole video on my channel dedicated to just this fragrance so I'm not going to go into depth about it but there's a reason why it's number one you know there's a reason why it's very popular there's a reason why there are so many dupes of this fragrance it's very easy to wear it is an amber vanilla fragrance it is sweet it's an all year fragrance as well it's a fragrance that you can wear any time of the year hot cold you know snowing winter autumn whatever you can wear this fragrance the notes in this fragrance are saffron jasmine amberwood ambergris fair reason and cedar beautiful fragrance again i don't know if it comes in the 35 ml but i know it comes in the 70 ml and also comes in the 200 ml the major difference between this and the extra version is because is the extra version has got the extra almond notes if not i don't really see any difference Mm, this oh uh, this is sugar it's so sweet it literally reminds me of the time when it came into my collection which was i think sometime in november last year it is such a sugary like imagine like you're boiling sugar that's what this fragrance smells like there's so many dupes for it i mean there's ariana grande cloud i've heard that barbary hair smells like this as well but really beautiful fragrance so yeah there you have it guys those are my top five fragrances from the house of mason francis Cunha. if i had to put a sixth place it would be a la rose i'll throw in a la rose in there as number six but yeah those are my top five fragrances from the house of mason francis Cunha. go ahead and let me know how you rank these fragrances how many you own from the house of mason francis Cunha. how you rank them what's your favorite mason francis Cunha fragrance go ahead and let me know in the comment section i'd like to hear from you also go ahead and let me know what you think about old satin moji love it do you own it you know what do you think about it because mm, i'm not on the fence on that fragrance that's a fragrance i certainly do not i'm not a huge fan of but yeah anyways that's the thing about fragrances sometimes you don't necessarily like a fragrance but there might be other things from the house from that same house that you like you know you you, you know you like some you you hate some or you don't like some you you win some you lose some you know that's life but anyways go ahead and also do all of that good stuff guys like share and subscribe guys please like please share please subscribe and also i see you again in my next video because i look forward to seeing you again in my next video stay beautiful stay blessed hi and bye